So one of the magical things that a business owner can, can focus on is figure out strategies that are taking advantage of the present environment and the present opportunities for them to be able to actually grow. That's a great, great question right there. So here's the thing. Scale and at scale are two entirely different definitions. By definition, building scale means that you get incrementally more results with the same inputs. We need to grow results faster than investment. Tactically, this means bringing in more leads, opportunities, revenues with less marketing budget per each one. So scaling is a process of actually being able to get more for the same or even less. And a lot of the scaling process comes about with strategy. There's a saying that is very widely known in the world at large, which says you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. For example, how did I scale? Um, I had a, uh, we had a business with my father. Uh, that was selling digital information. So we gave him access to courses and trainings. I needed more people to pay attention. In 2020, as COVID was becoming widespread, I needed a lot more people to look into our programs and understand how it can help them. I didn't have enough eyeballs. So I had to come up with a strategy so I can get more eyeballs looking at our products and services. So what did I, what did I do? I sat down and I figured out a strategy for scale. By scale, I mean like I needed attention at large. I needed a lot of people to be interested in our products and services. So what I did was that I took, my dad had somewhere around 150 different lessons. I took one of them and I said, dad, we're gonna give that one away. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a marketing strategy around this one thing. What did I do here? I took advantage of a couple of things. Number one, the situation that was happening in the world and where people had attention. Number two, my father's information and valuable thing that was already being given to the world and it was already available and it was just a little piece of the whole thing. I went to social media and I said, because we are stronger together, I wanna give you this little piece for free. In this particular time of need, there's nothing more valuable than us helping each other out. So that was my strategy. I went to the world and I told them, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna give you this information that I sell and I'm gonna give it to you for free so you can handle a particular aspect of your body. And people came in and I said, in order for you to benefit from this particular thing that I'm gonna give you for free, I need you to commit to three things. Number one, I need you to commit to get the course done. Get the lesson done. Number two, I need you to help me spread the word. Together we are stronger. So I'm gonna give you a special link and I want you to help me share with the world that we are helping them with this free information. Number three, if you're happy with what we accomplished, what we did together, with the value that you got, you're gonna help me with a testimonial video and then you get permanent access to this particular lesson that I gave you for free. When I did that, we had 10,000 people on our list at that point. We had 10,000 already, emails and phone numbers. In six weeks, our list went from 10,000 to 220,000. And the company exploded. So I took a strategy and I implemented it and I got a lot of attention with the same amount of money and energy. So that is scale. So one of the magical things that a business owner can, can focus on is figure out strategies that are taking advantage of the present environment and the present opportunities for them to be able to actually grow and leverage opportunities. When I look around the environment, I'm like, okay, well, what's happening in COVID right now? Um, people are not gonna be buying courses right now, but I need attention still. So because everybody's afraid of investing money or everybody's being careful about themselves and about their finances, I need to figure out how I can give them something in exchange for their information because I'm not getting their money right now. So when the panic uh, went down and people were already like, okay, you know, it seems like we're gonna survive. People started buying our products, our courses and everything else at scale. So we took off. You take away that strategy, 
we are not where we're at today. So that was taking a business and scaling it, taking advantage of scaling that business with a great marketing strategy. So growth without having to put too much more money or growth and keeping the results that you're getting at a larger number, at a larger volume. So that's scaling. Now at scale, it's, it's a different definition. At scale means taking what you're doing at a certain level and magnifying that. And that is at scale. So if I, if I wanna help at scale, I don't wanna just help people here in this building, I wanna help people in the entire city. If I wanna help at scale, I don't wanna just help people in the city, I wanna help people in the state. If I wanna help at, st- at scale, I wanna help people in the entire country. That's me, my desire to do something at scale simply means that just from the concept of having a scale, something to measure, I wanna do it at a larger volume. I wanna do it at a larger scale. 